going on, Phoenix? This is Gavin from Soundphoria. I am hanging out with Dawn of the Rising. What's going on, guys? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good, good. Great to have you guys on here. So, Thank you. Uh, you guys have a big show coming up. Yes, with, sir. Uh, Y&T. Very right. exciting. All right. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, if you don't mind, please introduce yourselves to everyone. I'm Ray, lead vocalist of Dawn of the Rising. Um, allegedly Bo Phoenix of yeah. Dawn of the Rising. I play guitar. <laughs> So, uh, big show's coming up with YNT. What's the uh, story behind that? Uh, well, you know, uh, we've been big fans of YNT a long time, so we got the opportunity. Um, we mm -hmm. saw there was a slot open. We, we definitely tried to get in on that, and uh, Kim was really cool. Sure. Um, and she uh, hooked us up with that gig. Um, there's another promotion, too, Kim, and that's 13th Floor. Um, is it Appalling Events? Sure. I think it is. Paul I just Benson, want to give Paul them a Soto. shout as well because guys. you got to uh, be politically correct. I think it's a 50-50 show, I believe. Okay. But we're really excited to be part of that. And uh, Y&T, uh, when I was young in the 80s, uh, it was a great band. I really uh, looked up to them as far as, you know, what where they were, you know, because they came out, Southern California, kicking ass. I seen them open for Motley Crue, I believe. And I was like, wow, especially the dude could sing and play lead guitar. It made me oh, want to sure. quit, but I yeah. obviously didn't. <laughs> but, yeah, we're really excited about it. And it's awesome being able to play with the people you grew up with, too. Absolutely. I mean, oh, yeah. Absolutely. And I, yeah, Kim always puts on a great show over there. She does. You know, She's a she, class act, really. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, you guys have been together for a while. Now, Paul, I know you're, uh, you're newer to the band. Uh, but So uh, how about a little bit on the history of the band? Like, when did you guys start? Well, uh, we started, uh, let's see, it's uh, 18, I would say late 15, early 16, I put together the band because, uh, you know, I sang hardcore for like 10 years in a band. Sure. Uh, and so after 10 years of that, I was looking forward to starting something where I could actually sing again. I'm not saying anything against hardcore because I love hardcore, I really do. Um, and I enjoyed all those 10 years of doing that, but you know, I still, I've been a singer a long time, so I wanted to get back to my roots because you know, that's where I started in the 80s with all the killer rock bands sure. like YT, Judas Priest, you know, Flotsam and Jetsam, Icon, you know. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And uh, so I just wanted to get back to singing again and uh, having fun doing some of that and still, you know, rock heavy, you know, fun, melodic. And, anyways, I handpicked some guys, you know, uh, that I knew, like uh, Chris Keener, uh, I jammed with him in 94 Blades, really good drummer, solid guy, really cool dude, um, he was looking to do something as well. Um, Not a and, good band. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, we, uh, I started with that, and then my son Justin Kuhn, uh, he's, he, for some reason, he's only 25, but he has like an old soul. He, sure. He knows more rock songs than I do. <laughs> on you know classic rock songs on guitar and stuff he plays all kinds of them uh and so you know it was a no-brainer to nurture that sure. myself and uh so i brought him in with chris and uh and he worked well with tk tk was the original uh first lead second lead guitar player in the band and god bless him rest in peace tk and uh he uh helped teach Justin along, you know, and get him along. He was already good, but, you know, seasoning into a band like this, you know, serious doing it. We played with Armored Sane, sure. you know, Flaw. We've done some serious gigs. Justin has been a, a boss, really. Proud of him. Anyway, long story short, got TK. We had a great run. Um, and like I said, unfortunately, he passed away due to cancer. And uh, God be with him. And uh, we celebrate his music still and uh, his his life um, but we met Bo um, Bo came in and he took right off he's written 12 songs uh, for this new record fast. and um, yeah very fast um, it was like fate he was the first person I contacted um, and so awesome. yeah when it, when it works out that way it's, it's amazing like I, I thought like, there was no way to replace TK in the first sure. place he was so good and seasoned sure um, very very well-rounded musician and um, we found Bo and he's the same exact thing an engineer a guitar player great ideas great songwriting and we also clicked 
it was yeah. it was fate. Ah, thanks, TK. I mean, yeah. I bet <laughs> TK out. probably led the sure. universe and TK kind of you know it all oh, collided. Awesome. But it, it's really been uh, an awesome story for us, and we're grateful. Thank you know our Absolutely. lucky stars for that. And uh, so that's how I got started. And now we're on a new path. Um, uh, as far as genre wise, we're still hard rock, heavy metal, but we are now um, more a conceptual band. Uh, not like, oh, we're nuts and shit, but um, we just want to write about more meaningful things that people need to know about and uh, uh, that we want to sing about, you know, and bring some things to light that other people may not know. Sure. Plus, have fun and play rock and roll. That's the number one thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I know you have some new tracks coming out, and uh, we're, we're definitely going to play that too, like after the interview and on the forecast. But what song in particular do you really feel like? You know, you have like that one song that you really feel lines up with what you're looking to achieve. Do you have that one track that you would say? Um, right now for this record, I mean, I have to say uh, they're all great. Okay. But of course, I'm biased. Um, but. I would say in the end, but it's not out yet, so I mean, I can't, sure. nobody has a reference to what I'm talking about, sure. but you will. Real soon. Absolutely. Real soon. Absolutely. And, and but that, that for me, but this title track that you're going to play um, is definitely uh, the record, it's the title track, it's the, the direction we're going, um, it sends the message, you know, and then it's like a ride, it's like a concept album. Uh, it, every song tells a certain, you know, piece of information and story, and uh, it really felt good uh, to uh, actually write about things with substance and not just, you know, chicks and rock and roll sure, and sure. alcohol and partying. And, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, really. And so, I mean, I had fun writing, uh, and with Bo's music, it just fit. Like I said, it clicked. I mean, it's it's amazing. Like, uh, it hasn't even been what eight months. Not even six. Not even six. And we have 12 new songs, a brand new record almost coming out. Mm. Uh, it's it's amazing that we've gone. It's like I said, I can't even believe it. But we're doing really well, and the band is going really strong in the jam room. And uh, awesome. Where do you guys jam at? We jam at Chris Keener's, our drummer's house. Okay. Hello, Chris. We yeah. know you had to work today. Too bad you couldn't be here. Sorry, Chris. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, so uh, we jam at Chris's house. We have a, a a great jam room there in his garage, double car garage, um, cool. and we have it pretty set up, pretty nice. So it's little garage jams, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's now, where it all starts. You guys have the new music coming out. Where, where? What's the URL? Where can everyone go to hear it? Where can they buy it? Where can they get all the info? The new stuff is not out yet at all, but it will, uh, be. It will be out soon, and you probably be able to find it on. Uh, CD Baby, um, iTunes, uh, from us, of course, because we, we like to be our own entity, you know, because today, sure. you know, music, the way the business is, it's, it's better to do things yourself. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So, I mean, we'll be setting up a store. That'll be out soon. You can okay. just keep updating, uh, watching our Facebook page, and we'll keep everybody posted as we go with all this information because we're doing new merch, new uh, music, video. Uh, we're actually video taking some footage live from the show uh, on January 27th at Club Red with Y&T. We're doing footage there, and we're editing that into a video, a real music video as well, um, to add to our others. And um, you can also, you know, see all that. We'll post all of that information, and probably, hopefully, through you guys. And thank you guys for what you do and, and having us here. We really appreciate it. We do. Not a problem. You know, we, we appreciate the music scene. Appreciate you guys coming out. Obviously, um, you guys are really doing a great thing because a lot of things are swinging DJs and, and hip hop, and there's nothing wrong with that, but somebody's got to hold the flag for us rockers, and you guys are doing it. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not the only band that really appreciates this, but thank you guys thank for you real. No problem. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, yeah, appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, again, everyone. Uh, check this out. It's on Saturday, January 27th, over at Club Red, Dawn of the Rising. They're playing with YNT and Chemicals of Democracy. You can go to their Facebook page for Dawn of the Rising and uh, purchase the tickets directly through them. And uh, go check it out. Support local music. Peace.